Well, now we're going to talk about the next item that I know that I see students struggle with a lot, and that's fractions. And th these come up an awful lot. They get used a lot, and it's really important that you get these fractions down as quickly as possible. So please refer back to here as often as you need to. We're going to start with addition and subtraction. And we're going to start with the simplest case where the denominators are the same. If the denominators are the same, then we could just add the numerators together and leave that denominator exactly as it appears over here. We could also look at subtraction, which behaves the same way. And this works really well as long as those denominators are the same. If they're not the same, then one of the things that we can do is we can use a rule, and I'm just going to give you the result of this, but this comes from multiplying by d over d and by b over b, and then you get the same denominator, and it's a times d plus b times c. And the subtraction works the same way, where we get ad minus bc over bd. So I can use this to shortcut having to do things, and I just need to plug in the a, b, c, and d into their appropriate places and then work them from there. Now multiplication, fortunately, is a little bit easier. If I have a over b times c over d, then I just multiply the tops together and I multiply the bottoms together. Division's almost as easy, but it has just a little bit different in that the first thing we do is we take the inverse of the second one, turn it upside down, and then do our multiplication to get AD over BC. Okay, it's also important to note that if we have A times C over B times C, since the C's are the same, they'll divide out and we're left with A over B. And any time we see something like this, we need to work through it. So you need to stay on top of it very, very, very carefully to make sure that any time you have something in common on top and on bottom, it's divided out. And the last thing that we're going to look at is if we start with an equal sign in the problem, A over B equals C over D, this means that AD equals BC. So these are the properties of fractions, and again, you need to know these and you need to be able to come up with them quickly.